Oh, I can't see it. Arriva Dirty and welcome. That means hello. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. Welcome to the NUFC Fans Forum, uh, number coming up 30 now or something. So, I don't know. I hate doing these things during the international breaks because there's absolutely nothing to talk about. So what we're going to do today is going to go through all of Newcastle United's various international friends and how they got on and whether they're going to go to the World Cup or not. And then we might preview the Southampton game. And we'll talk a little bit about the takeover and that should wrap us up. Yep. Nicely, I feel. Lovely. Let's start with the international break. Paul Dummett's World Cup dream has died. Good. Oh. <laughs> Wales somehow didn't qualify because our old pal Martin O'Neill just seems to be able to get big results for Ireland when he really needs to get big results for Ireland. Which means Kieran Clark and Daryl Murphy are in all likelihood going to the World Cup. How do we both feel about that? Well, as a Gallagher, I'm Irish in heritage. So as I'm a ginger. Very, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but Denmark haven't... Uh... That's true. Have Denmark qualified? Yeah, that's probably what I am. Irish and Danish. I don't know. Probably, they're all right. I've done no research. Um, <laughs> it's good. Co- Imagine if Ireland and Ireland play each other in the playoffs. It's that a possibility. possibility. Oh, it's not. Surely it's not, they'll not. both be they'll both be in pot two, won't they? I One would imagine. I think so. Yeah. But still, let's pretend. Juicy. We Imagine. could get each other in the groups. Yeah. That would be also juicy. Kieran Clark is he our best centre back? Yes. So does he deserve to go to a World Cup? Yes. Ahead Absolutely. ahead of Lejeune. Lascelles, presumably. I'd like to think that Lejeune was a better centre-half, but I haven't seen anything of him. So. Yeah, we've only seen a few minutes of him, haven't we? You see him getting scythed down by Harry Kane. And Kieran Clark did a double... Da- uh, d- 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 a you double said, you said specifically, Simon was like, we need to do an NFC fan story. And I was like, have we really got anything to talk about? And one of the three things you suggested should be a talking point was Kieran Clark's double drag back. Would you like to talk people through that while I have a sip of juice? That was it. Well, go on. <laughs> Kieran, <laughs> Kieran Clark did a double drag back. Context, where, when, why, it was, why? On, the, it yeah. was on the pitch. On the pitch, where on the pitch? Um, it was in defence on the pitch. No. I don't actually know. Gee, my words. On I the edge, know, the edge of the thing. opposition box. Wow. As Wales were clearing uh, a set piece, Kieran Clark got out on the edge of the box with his back to goal, spun around, did a double drag back, and then rolled in Shane Duffy, his centre-back partner, who was advancing down the wing. Nothing came of it. But, gigantic um, Shane Duffy. He's Second time lad. he's been mentioned in a couple of weeks. Yes. Was he? Big was lad. I talked about yeah. him being a big lad. Brighton's big lads. No, Brighton's big lads who, yeah. yeah. We got beat up Brighton's big lads, unfortunately. Yeah. Shame um, Who else is going? John Dre Edlin's not going. No. no. Is that a surprise? Yes. Well, given the nature of the way they went out. Thing is, though, so. I saw somebody on Twitter saying, well, everyone's shocked US on going to the World Cup, but can you name, like, four of their players? And I was like, ooh. Pulisic. Pulisic. Yedlin. Yedlin because he plays for us. Casey Keller. <laughs> Alexi Lalas, Ryan yeah. McBride, Harry Arena. Yeah. These you can't, you can't really name any mainstay. You say that, no. like, we'll laugh at that. But Tim Cahill still plays for Australia. Yeah. Thirty-seven Sorry, years old, seven. Score, still scoring headers. Two, in fact, age. Yeah. put my my boys Syria out. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, we have no we have no dog in that Australia fight though. Is it a shame that the Edlands aren't going to a World Cup? I don't think it is because I believe that he'd probably get injured just because <laughs> just because oh. it's Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah. But is that not... And also, do you not he might want, be really well and somebody might buy Do you it. not want your players to all have the potential to go to these big tournaments because you get better performances out of them the season ahead of it? Well, that's not true because Musa Sissoko was an anomaly who played well in the Euros and was cack. But, yes. but, but by and large, is that not something you'd want? Do you not want your players to have that carrot... That being said, selection. about Sissoko, we did effectively get £30 million pounds out of that... That's Euros true. performance, so you know. I don't want to get twenty, thirty million pound for Yedlin. No, me neither. I'd rather keep him. I'd rather keep Yedlin. Yeah. Uh, who else is going? That it? Marina's not going to get in the Spain squad, probably. He scored two goals for the under twenty ones. Yeah, I think he'd have to. Maybe be, he'd have to be going something to get into the Spain. Well, when we finish six, yeah, in midfield as well. It's... Well, uh, isn't that isn't that where you can get into Spain now? Because I guess like, I think Alonso's I guess. retired and he has to step aside. Xavi stepped aside. Busquets is like no spring yeah. chicken. They've still got the cookies of the world. Home, they have got coke. They have got Saul. 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 So, you say I don't know. Asensio, that lad who I literally only heard of six I weeks ago. Now he's apparently the best player <laughs> in the world. Um, who else? Anyone? Any other French contingent we got left? Spanish. No. Yeah. You just change nationality. You yeah. might get in the front. Manquillo? No. Perez? No. no. Yeah. Hotheloo? No. He's not going to go. We're not going to have a lot of. We're not going to have a lot of representation this World Cup. Mitrovic? Are they? Did they qualify? They did qualified, they? didn't they? 
It'll be the main man. We should man. have looked this yeah. up. I beforehand. believe we did. Yes, I believe we did. So Mitrovic will be a starter at the World Cup. Yes, You'd think absolutely. So. Now, there has been a bit of speculation going around that there are numerous teams, Brighton specifically, who are sniffing about for Mitrovic in January. Could you see him going? Yes. Just... Why? Unpack that. Well, the way he's been marginalised, he I, I don't necessarily think that he should be in the first team like a lot of people do. But the guy barely features. He had a nice little patch last season and he came back in sort of towards the end of the season. But it seems quite clear to me that Rafa doesn't trust him not to, you know, nut people and get himself sent off in big situations. I would, li- I would like to leap to the defence of Alexander Mitrovic here. He's never nutted somebody. <laughs> well, we don't so know this that. So this is just another, another lazy criticism of Alexander <laughs> yeah. Mitrovic. He's never nutted anybody. Prove me, well, I mean, not in, not not, in a football, not in football match. match. Yeah. I'm sure he has. I'm sure he used to just nut trees when he was younger to try and get acorns out of them. Yeah. Um, do you get acorns out of trees? This is Gardner's trees. question time. Um, but if Brighton are the kind of team that's going to be sniffing around him, could you see us selling him to a rival? I don't think he'll be in England if he goes anywhere. I think he'll go... He should go to Italy. Because it has, it has been said repeatedly that over the transfer window, we knocked back numerous approaches mm. for both Mbemba and Mitrovic because we felt we were stronger with them and we didn't want to... The yes. teams that were in for them, we didn't want to allow them to strengthen. Yeah. I think areas. it's slightly changed now in that I think if somebody came in from Mbemba, we wouldn't say you can't have him just because we don't want to be weak. He's now, now, he's, he's now like a first team, I would say. Squad, anyway, first team squad. But I still think if we got another striker, Mitrovic would be the first one to go. Yeah, I agree. Interesting. Why? Because I don't think... Why not Gale? I don't think that Mitrovic changes the game if you bring him on. And I think, I know that Rafa doesn't actually change the game. That I much. would have loved to have brought Mitrovic on against Liverpool. I would have loved that. Yeah, but you look at the way those Liverpool defenders fell apart when uh, Hustle <laughs> ran through the middle of them. Mm. He's not actually that fast. Yeah. And Gale is like swift. Yeah, I don't think Mitrovic has that run in his game. I think he's. Uh, much better suited to coming deeper, collecting the ball, maybe doing something nuts. But this is the thing. This is what he does for Serbia. Is I mean, again, I watched that Wales game he had, and the whole his hold up play for Serbia is exceptional. Yeah. Like the way he, the positions he moves into to receive the ball, and then how he lays it off. We've done this specifically on this show yeah. before. Why can't he do that for us? Because we're we'll never play, gonna play that. We we'll play Iosi Perez there. So that's what Perez's job is. Now I, I don't agree with it, but yeah. It's slightly redundant to play those two together, and I don't. I, I honestly think a meteor could hit Iosi Perez, and he'd still be in the team next next match. Well, we'll get onto the next match when we get onto it. Is there any chance in either of your minds, bustling as they are, that Jamal Lascelles could sneak into that England side? I think there's every chance because England managers always choose weird wild yeah. cards there'll be at don't least think one he's as wacky yeah. pick won't there and I don't think he's as wacky as some of the others I don't think he's as wacky as Harry Winks for instance no and he just played so so the microphone is there you go <laughs> Harry Winks Harry Winks Harry Winks see I saw a thing about Harry Winks saying that people were like he's only played X amount of games so it was someone like Ali Kane Barkley uh, Wilshire. Like, there's about seven or eight players who went on to become like, mainstays for England and all played less games for the first yeah. team when they got their first selection. If you one can thing tell in... straight away if somebody's good enough. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't watch I didn't watch England no, games. I, I, no, don't, I don't watch England. I heard Harry Winks was got man of the match, though. Yeah. In a side which featured the likes of Aaron Cresswell. And, yes. Uh... <laughs> another, one, another one. LaSalle should be ahead of him, really. I don't mind Aaron Cresswell, but he's, he's fallen back slightly from where he was who were... seasons ago. But it looks like he's going to play three at the back, Southgate. Yeah. So if you're playing three at the back, do you then take six centre-backs? You've got two people for your position, yeah, or do you well, still take four? You'd have to. You can't take six centre-backs. Yeah, but you can, it's quite it's easy to get positions. two injuries. Let's say you take five. Let's say you take five. Who's currently England's five centre-backs? John Stones. Cahill. Cahill. Smalling? Probably. I mean, Jones is getting Bill Jones. Jones. Right. I mean, they're not. And that leaves, so that leaves one space left. Yeah. How's this, what do you think right now? It's a straight shot between Harry Maguire and I think Jamal Harry Lascelles. Maguire would go ahead of Lascelles. Yeah, Maguire he, he did play. I, do, I think I think that Lascelles would, should go ahead of Small and Jones. Personally, oh. but because I think both of those are absolute garbage. Cack, yeah. yeah. I don't. I, I I think Small's an Irish player. Yeah. Irish, not great, but Irish. Well, um, England are not a good team. That's the thing. Like they don't they don't have good options and. and 
it, that whole England expecting is now going to go on for the next two months or whatever. It is. Mind you, I saw they're they're under seventeens or under nineteens or whatever. We're basically playing like Barcelona at the minute. I one of the players has got a very Barcelona name. Is it Sandro or yes. Sancho? Yes, Sancho. Sancho. Yeah. Yeah. Che- is he Chelsea? A very Barcelona name. Well, he doesn't sound like he's from. It's got, he doesn't it's, sound like Harry Witt. It's got the he? letters C and H next yeah. to each other. No, it's like a, a, his first name is also like. Who were forgotten? Foreign. Internationally, who were forgotten? Tim Krull's left. Can't can't include him anymore. Should Rob Elliott be getting in that Ireland squad? He should be getting in the England in the squad, yeah. But he does get in the squad, doesn't yeah. he? Just Darren Randolph keeps him out. Darren Randolph plays for yeah. something. I mean, Randolph's got a calamity in him, so it's. I don't know. I think that's much of a muchness for me. You know, they're both good shot stoppers. Well, you know, Elliot has his flaws. Um, Actually, I don't really know anything about Darren Randolph. Do you want to provide some insight for well, us? Well, he uh, played for Motherwell in the SPL for Here several seasons. Here we go. Um, Here we go. He, yeah, he looks like a very athletic, decent shot stopper. Um, obviously got picked up by West Ham a couple of seasons ago, but he's, I've never been particularly convinced by the other aspects of his game, much like Elliot. You know, yeah. coming off his line, claiming crosses, so forth. <laughs> <laughs> I liked again Elliot for the uh, we made the joke about when he played that game against Man United he dived for a free kick like he'd never played football before yeah. I thought not quite the same extent but that Coutinho goal against him in the Liverpool match was he was out of position and his legs looked like they were made of lead he didn't get off, <laughs> yeah. he doesn't get off the ground no he doesn't. he doesn't he doesn't get off the ground Long. he can be beaten quite easily from long range but then again when was it Clark just rolled the ball back in for Sturridge he was straight out mm-hmm. he was big yeah. the kind of, that's the kind of save Krull doesn't make Krull mm-hmm. just kind of goes Whoa. sticks a wobbly arm oh, out it's yeah. gone under my leg daddy long legs octopus um, Rob Elliott could go he really probably will go to the World Cup. Lascelles could go to the World Cup. Freddie Clark. Woodman that might sneak in as the, one of those oh, go and play with the big lads They're not going to take someone who's never played a first team game. We'd have to. I think if if we if we get re- if we get shot a dollar in January. Yeah, I think January if we get shot a dollar in January, Woodman goes on the bench. There's an injury. There's an injury to Elliot, and he ends up having to run a five or six games. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think yeah. that's a that's a huge outside shot. Um, Clark probably will. Dollar certainly won't. No. Uh, Manquillo definitely won't. No, absolutely. Say. absolutely Bemba, no. did, 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 did they qualify? Did, did they? D- D- DR Congo. D- the last Congo? game I knew that they played, they drew 2 2, which is no help. I think they're out. No, I'm sure they're out. So Bemba's no not idea. going. No idea. Bemba's not going. Uh, Lejeune, nope, no, no. any contention. Uh, <laughs> Yedlin's not, not going. Atsu, maybe? Did they qualify? We should have looked <laughs> all of this <laughs> up. Wikipedia. Uh, Atu, with, yeah, Atu's going, I'm pretty sure. Um, about in the middle. Hage's not going to go. Shelby's not going to yeah. go. Well, you know. Shelby's not going to go. Graham Sinesse mm. would take him. Oh, and Phil, ne- Phil Neville has a touch of the Graham Sinesses about him, in that he's a bit of an idiot. Yes. <laughs> I don't think he's going to go somehow. No, not um, Marino, probably too long of a shot for him yeah. to go. Richie. Sadly, no, sadly not. No, rest in peace. Sadly not. <laughs> uh, Scottish people. <laughs> uh, uh, you got beat up ice in it. Uh, Perez isn't going. Gail won't be going. Hossley won't be going. Mitrovic is going. So by and large, we're not going to be overly well represented. Not like that last Panini sticker album I got where I had Kabai, Debussy, Sissoko and <laughs> Ben Arthur all, all in it. Uh, so yes, that's a shame, isn't it? Should we be better represented at these tournaments? Is it... Striking that we're. I don't want any of our team in Russia for that World Cup. Why? Not because of the football, just because of like. Here we go. It's going to kick off. <laughs> <laughs> Please do clarify. I just think that like it's just going to be mental. Right, go on. Absolutely mental. Do, do you remember how <laughs> USA 94 was mental in a lovely sort of way? Diana Ross Miss ran it, on, yeah. missed the penalty. It was like everyone was like happy. Bulgaria. And Seoul was like that as well. Yeah. Seoul? Is that so. what I mean? Do you mean Seoul? Japan and South Korea? Japan, yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you, yes. Yeah, the city so of Seoul. So specifically, that was <laughs> yes. uh, I just think Russia's going to be... They're going to have to travel, what, 8 million miles between matches. They'll all be It's going to be horrible. Yeah. I can't wait. All of the proper hooligans are going <laughs> to go there to test themselves against Russian... It's going to be the Mafia. hooligan World Cup, isn't it? it is, more than yeah. anything else. It'll oh. be awful. Well, I hope England get a group with Russia. That'll be good. I think horrible. Al Mitro might fit in quite well then if we're talking about the... Yeah. Hooligan World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone know what Ross is doing this summer? <laughs> He'll be, cool. He'll be cool. there. Chucking, top, chucking tops deck, off in the streets. Tops off. Chucking deck chairs all over the shop. 
We miss you, buddy. Uh, moving on from international football, Newcastle battled their way. Well, I'm going to I'm going to be completely honest. They dropped points to a Champions League rival, in my opinion. <laughs> yes. Last week with a one all draw at Liverpool. We didn't deserve it. Where's Ewan? Where's you? Want to laugh at him? Is he a Liverpool fan? <laughs> he is. <laughs> yeah. For his oh. crimes. He, he captained. What a shame. He captained Mane. And the arrogance of that. Uh, before this game, the Liverpool Newcastle game, he told me that Matip was the token good defender at Liverpool. Well. I I tell you, you, are spoiling, you are spoiling for a fight with that boy so badly. <laughs> I put him in my fantasy I'm, football team. That's I'm always big with him, to be fair. Yeah, but he's got heart, hasn't he? got spirit. True. What have you got? Right hand, mate. Oh, <laughs> Scotch grit. We're not on Tinder. Um, <laughs> you, so Newcastle have Southampton coming up. Again, Liverpool, look, you've just, we're, we're that was the shortest talk about Liverpool We're going to go back to it. All right, okay. We've got Southampton coming up. Uh, again, live on Sky Sports because all our games are live on Sky Sports, which is another issue we're going to get onto. In a yes. Um, on Sunday. Going into this game, we are ninth, eighth or ninth. Yeah. Which again is good. I think it's, it's, be- it's better than yeah. we expected it to be. 100%. But should we. That's where I expect it to be because that's the number that I said. Based on the Liverpool game, are we, are we? is this about fair for us? Are we riding our luck? Are we not get? Should we be doing better? We should be doing better. Because we should be playing better or getting no, better. No, no, I mean we should we should have more points than we do currently. The the Spurs game it was unfortunate. Was was awful. Yeah. The Huddersfield game was a matter of one shot. Yeah. And we could have easily got a point there. Um, Brighton. Brighton. We should have won, but should we have won at Brighton? I just feel like I, I don't mean I, I don't mean this was deserved to. We just should have won against Brighton. Miles. Yeah, yeah, ahead of the game. I don't think we did anything to warrant a single point from that game, no. sadly. But. I don't think Brighton did. Do you think no. we do you think we warranted the point against Liverpool? Yes. For sheer tenacity and yes. also dumb luck. It it was one of those games where you after the you know, oh Raf has played a blinder there, you know, we've obviously we've sat back, we've limited them to a, these couple of chances and we've taken now is when it's come. But when you actually sat and watched the he game, didn't you change were like, anything from you the rest like, of the team. This they missed a couple of absolute really yeah. sitters. <laughs> Alex Oxley Chamberlain heading basically clearing the ball from under the crossbar in the last minute yeah. for us. Quite just, nice. Yeah. Good lad. Sturridge one on one with the keeper. Uh you expect him to score that hundred times yep. out of hundred. And our goal it's poor storage like, wasn't he? He was. He does. He looks. He looks like a player who might. Who, re- who might. Yeah. yeah. He looks like a player who's been out for a long time and relies on a lot of little individual bits of movement. Mm-hmm. Uh, if he stays fit, I'm sure. He'll, I'm sure he'll come. But you good. won't. What you won't. He won't stay fit. Why not? Because he's Daniel Sturridge. Unfortunately, past few seasons. Because, he's, yeah. like, because he's Daniel Sturridge. Yeah, should swipe left on that. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he's thrown us there. Um, yeah. No, they should have won. I mean, look at the goal we scored. Brilliant. We didn't even score it. Was, it, was <laughs> up there. it doesn't go down as an own goal. doesn't no, go down as well, an own no, goal. Do you think know we should have won it? The army right yeah, at the end. The army shot I. Yeah, but it yeah. would have been. I mean, I mean, I would have felt guilty. I would not. I would still, still be, be, I'd I'd still be laughing. What are you on about? <laughs> I'd still be laughing now. Uh, while I've brought up the army, do we want to go in depth on this, or do we want to skirt over the fact that there was a training ground bust up during the week in which Lascelles called the army lazy? The hmm. army then tried to. They try to spark each other out, and John Joe Shelby oh, broke Shelby. a finger breaking it up. Is this just something that happens at football teams? It, it happens all yeah. the time, but it had Shelby involved, so therefore it had to be. It has to be in the news, bit. doesn't it? It wasn't even the one that did the fighting, and he's the one that uh, was pictured it. on the back of the paper. Do you think there's a slightly cynical element in the club releasing that Lascelles new contract news the day before this story comes out? Probably. Yeah, I think so, because it, it sounds like they've been holding on to that LaSalle's news for a while. Yeah, because if you remember, there was reports that uh, Shelby had broken a finger early in the mm-hmm. week. Then the LaSalle's news came out, and then the day after it was emerged, it was a training ground yep. buster. Was that, is that good PR by the club, or...? I don't... Well, I don't who's bothered about them fighting? Like, well, they're mad. Yeah, they're the mad. Yeah, they're I not Shows a bit, shows a bit. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, shows are arse. Like they're not yeah. having to fight over like money or cars. They're having to fight over one of them said, You're lazy, you're not working. They're not having to fight yeah. on the pitch. He's right. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> Glory yeah. days. The army can't complain about yeah, it. He hasn't because got he's an lazy. Yeah, he is quite lazy. Yeah. Um, so you don't think we deserve, we deserve to win it? I, I don't, no. I, I'll take every point that we're, we can get, especially considering. We should have got those points early in the season. Well, speaking of every point we can get, there's another three up for grabs this weekend. Live on Sky Sports, again, on Sunday, again, against Southampton. Miles away. Who are having 
A very average season. A middling season. Said. Very yeah. middling a season. A West Brommer. Yeah. Oh, they are having a West Brommer, aren't they? Um, but it is away. Hmm. And we don't lo- uh, we don't win in Southampton. So uh, oh, I fully expect us to lose. you say that, I seem to remember Stephen Carr rattling in a 30 yard at once. That was recent, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. That's a good <laughs> the the only reason that, that was a really good goal. Was that the last was that time? His first goal? That was Sunes's first game, yeah. I think, and it was Carr's first goal. Yes. Uh, only goal? Only, I no, want to say only goal. goal. I want to say only goal for us. Um, when was the last time we won at Southampton? I can't remember. No, no like, idea. A couple of seasons we've been absolutely tonked by them. Yeah. yeah. To the point where John Carver was offering people out when he. I was oh, going to say that, that was game. that yeah. wasn't his avoid eleven Jack Colbacks one. That was Leicester, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm, I don't need a listen standing there. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do we? Th- are we hopeful? They're having a middle. Yeah, they're not in a. They're not an attacking force by any stretch no, of the imagination. No, not at all. I'm always hopeful, but I. I'm not optimistic. We could honestly just get a T-shirt for you with that on, and you wouldn't have to say <laughs> anything for these. I know. Andy, I said, actually, Andy. I, if you remember, I said we we're going to beat Liverpool last time. So right. I'm, a, I'm just a loser. Another wrong you got wrong. Yeah. Uh, Andy, are we yes. going to beat Southampton? Yes, we are. How can we beat Southampton? They don't score goals, do they? Um, they look like a very blunt attacking unit. 8-0. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I thought he's in the well. <laughs> but no, <they've> <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, please try it to continue. But yeah, you, you look at what they've been in recent seasons, and uh, I think they, they kind of started declining under Puyel, Puyel, yeah. Puyel. Puyel. him, Puyel. Claude, Clive, Dave. They started declining under him last season, and I don't think Pellegrini has really come in and done much work to turn them around. You know, they've Did got they come seventh yeah, no. last year. They got a good finish. If you, they've. The problem with Southampton is they've had an almost endless stream of quality, quality players, some of whom they've bought for next and out, some of whom they've they can. Yeah, and they've they've been whittled away and whittled away, and they've done such an incredible <laughs> job to maintain sort of the team balance and their sort of like their hard work yeah. in spite of all that. But it's just just finally now there's just too many of them have gone. And I think Yep. I mean, Van Dijk's a, Van Dijk's a good player. Like Tadic probably, is a very good player. Tadic is a very good player. They've got a couple of quality players there, but they're just that like us, after we broke up that team that finished fifth, and it looked very much like the same team because there was a lot of familiar yep. names there, but like Kabai was gone, Teoti wasn't quite what he was, Colaccini was on the decline, Cissé wasn't scoring as much, Be- uh, Barr had gone. Like, it looked like that team, but just it wasn't. Yep. Yep. You know, we had Marvo and we're stuff. Def- and... We're definitely going to lose. Oh, yeah, we've said it now. We're yeah, definitely going to lose. I would, it, it, it's kind of, you know, I'd be thrilled with a battling point at. I'd yeah. take a draw. Yeah. I'd take a draw. I think we'll win, but I'll take a draw. You think we'll, what's, yeah. why? What yeah. score? I do. One, another one nil. <sighs> Two nil. Let's go. Let's be wow, ambitious. Simon. Let's be ambitious. I think we'll lose to him. I, th- I think. I think we'll draw 2 2. Hey, I think we're we going go. to sit back too deep like we do every single game. and uh, Too deep? We always play too deep. Oh, do you not, do you not mm, shout for the first 60 minutes saying. Why was so you? You don't. You just sit there well, in the box co- and go. Mm. Quietly text yeah. things mm. to myself for later. Yeah. Mm. Oh God, this this ox tongue's repeating on us. That's what you, <laughs> that's what you do at the match. It's chicken pie last time. Oh God, that's not so possible. It's lovely. Um, the thing is, I don't see things here. We're doing anything too deep implies that we're not going to get any results playing the way we're playing. I no, think. we're not going to score lots of goals. And we, I think, I think to we a, to a we've extent, scored we'll have to score more goals we've scored them. more goals than anybody beneath us. I think I'm right in saying that doesn't mean it's a lot though, does it? Oh, well, it comparatively means relatively. It's a lot. Yeah, we've, we've scored one against Liverpool. Yep, three against Stoke. Stoke. One against Swansea. Yeah, we've scored six goals. I yeah. can't remember whether yeah. that's five. <laughs> there you go, six. Yeah. Where's the other one from? Um, that was five. Um, not Brighton. Oh, not Brighton. Mm. Not Huddersfield. Spurs, no. Not Spurs. No, not Spurs. Why oh, can't I remember this? Research. Is it five? No, I'm sure it's six. Did we win a one 0 game? West Ham. <laughs> Did we play West Ham? We haven't played West Ham. <laughs> have we? We have played West yeah, Ham. Yeah, we have played yes, West Ham. Yes, we have. Yeah. We beat them. Yeah. One 0 Oh, one it was, nil. that was. West Ham yeah, was three 0 was one nil. Stoke was two one. Yes. There you there go. We go. Well, we got there it. We got it. Good remembering. We got it. That makes seven. Yes. Whatever. So not six. <laughs> Whatever. That's the, seven goals in nine games is not bad. I know, but I don't, I, I don't think we're, we're going to score a goal a game, which is like... Well, not based on that ratio, no. no. It's 0.8 and goals And to, to me, a goal a game is like bare minimum, or like reasonable. I think less than that. But you're not scoring very I, many goals. I agree, I agree, but over half the league beneath us hasn't scored that many goals. 
So, I mean, not talking about them. it's a results business, isn't it? Have a result. Do you think our results have been good so far? Some of them? Yep. By and large, overall. Yeah. I think if you laid this list down in front of me if at the you beginning do, if of you season, would, If you're doing a scorecard, like performances, results, everything in broad categories, would you score results well? B, if you B plus if you, for me, If results. you cover over who were played and said, we got these, this many points from this many games, I would be very happy. We played mm -hmm. Spurs. We played Liverpool. And exactly, yeah. Yep. Man United coming up. I, ju I just have to hold on to the Huddersfield-Brighton thing. Yeah. Because I like to have something to hold on to. Right? You do, you do, you do. You're poor, poor missus. <laughs> That's why I'm uh, <laughs> I get so upset about the Chris Hutton thing oh, mate, all the time. It's all right. About everybody saying how he did such a good job. He did do such a good job. We're not getting into yeah, this. No, no, but what I'm saying is... Predict right. I'm just going to say, nil. I'm just going to say, I have to say, <laughs> the results that he lost were ones that we should have won. That's why. What, like Rafa? No. Well, well, the only teams that have beaten us are the ones around us. Or Spurs. I mean, under Chris Hutton. I know, that's what I mean. But say, oh, my God, I'm not getting into this again. <laughs> um, two, you said we're going to win 2-0. 2-0. You said we're going to lose 2-0. Probably. I'm going for a battling 2-2 draw. Do you have any other business? Who would you play? Is Perez still in your squad? Mitrovic is back from his ban, isn't he? I don't think he there's is. Who, goes, who starts up front? Hossolu. We've got... How long's on that card? Hossolu. We haven't talked about the takeover. Oh, well, I think we should do a separate one on that one. We've got a bit more info. Okay. With a very special guest. Possibly. Possibly. Who can't say anything. Who can't say anything. But <laughs> merely, he can tell us what he can't talk about. Exactly. Which, in of itself... And we're going to hold him over a fire. Yep. <laughs> Stand by for that searing content. Um, who are you playing up front? Hossolu. Hossolu scored. Yep, no other Ish, option. Sort of. Perez still on the team for you. No, but he is. Yes, because there's no other option. Who's it? These two centre backs. Uh, I wouldn't change the team. No. You should position with Shelby. Shelby Marino, even away from home. Yeah, I think we've got to be ambitious Ooh, against. Oh, that's yet to that's a think of that one, isn't it? Against an underperforming team like Southampton. It's Hayden, Hayden and Shelby for me. I'd give Marino a break, young lad. No, it's not. It's not. Not he dropping. Is the him. He is the most like. Energizer bunny player I've ever yep, seen. Doesn't need, doesn't need a break. No, but I I just think it's it's no harm in taking them out for one game and bring them on after half, at half time if we need. I, de it. I think definitely that Shelby is the one that you keep in for certain against them because mm -hmm. we're going to play deep. Yep. And Shelby is much better playing pew, deep. Pew, Passing pew. I mean, in that respect, I might even I would put Gale on before Rafa will. I'd put him if if we're not winning, I would put him on in sixty minutes. But there's no way he's coming on before seventy. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, but I would I would go with I would personally go with Shelby and Hayden. Because I think Marino's he's got, he's got a nice balance between the two of them. You can bring him on whether you want to. You can take. You bring him on for Shelby if you want to play a bit deeper, and you bring him on for Hayden if you want to go yeah. forward a bit. I think he's a nice option. Who You've plays centre midfield for Southampton? God, who even knows anymore? Lamina, Romeo, James Ward Prowse. Oh, Romeo. Yeah, Romeo. Romeo. Okay, you've, you've so talked to me in Tyson. There you go. Romeo versus Hayden means a yellow card immediately for Hayden. So no. I wouldn't play him. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> probably does. Well, <laughs> first, first nine minutes. I would. Uh, I like him. I like him a lot. Rich, Richie and Atsu like are on yeah, at the moment, aren't they? They're yeah. both, they're yeah. both are two main creative outlets. Yeah. Well, that's the team then. What are you doing, fullback? Yedlin, obvs. Yedlin, even though he's going to be tripping over his bottom lip. <laughs> he's tremendous, though, isn't he? That's not a sore race thing. He's upset. It means he's upset. <laughs> Just Jesus. Bit problematic. Christ. Um, um, I don't. Mankyo to me has has done nothing that says uh, anything either way about whether he should play or not. Like just, just it's steady, just all right. yeah, just he's steady, all right. steady, yeah, yeah. I Mankyo, but I like Mbemba better. Who plays right wing for Southampton these days? Tadic, isn't it? Tadic. Does he play left? I think he plays right. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. See, we're all in agreement. Yeah. We're doing this quite nicely these days. We're all wrapping it up. There's yeah. even time left on the card. Look at that. Whoa. I'm gonna do the outro unless you've got anything majorly important to say. Alan, you went on the wrong podcast, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've not watched that yet. Apparently, it's really good. He is, yeah. Two hours. A load of people said, oh, you're going to do a NUFC fan special about uh, Alan Shearer being on the Tube Dory. I'm like, oh, we're going to do a podcast about a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not. No. Apparently, it's no. really good. You should go watch that. You should, yeah. It is really um, good. Yeah, it's kind of like this, but with... Uh, Alan Shearer and but with, muscles. It's like this, but with uh, worse male pattern boldness. Thank you very much for joining us on the NUFC Fans Forum number. I can't remember which one. Mm -hmm. International Special and Southampton Preview. Uh, as ever, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can get Simon on Twitter at... At Cy Gallagher. You get Andy on Twitter at... Andy H. Murray. And I am still at Adam Cleary. You can follow us at NUFC Fans as well. Thank you very much for joining us. We will see you after the Southampton game. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good press stop. See ya.